Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play House of Iron. We are playing as Italy, still fighting the war for Ethiopia, uh, the rich land of Ethiopia that I really want to conquer. Uh, or so I've been told, I don't know. Um, it's kind of boring me actually, but it gives me something to do I guess while waiting for the technology to uh, actually get there and while waiting for our production to uh, actually get there as well. And uh, I hopefully these consumer goods will go back to zero because what we really don't need is having descent in our midst. Um, this here can get out of can get out of hand pretty fast. Um, if you don't produce enough consumer goods and your people get unhappy that's gonna be not good for you. So uh, uh, I also don't produce enough supplies, I guess. And not enough reinforcements. I want to have my reinforcements. Like so. Um. Hmm. So once we got these escorts done, uh, we'll probably just... Oh gosh. I want the industry. Give me more industrial capacity. I really want that. Anyway, um, we're gonna try and surround the Ethiopian forces while actually preparing for the war against uh, Yugoslavia. And let's actually take a look at Yugoslavia. So we do need to get to the um, capital. Um, where are we there? there we go. What's happened there? Okay, so these guys are moving. These guys are moving as well. Could just reinforce here. Bring the HQ a little closer. How's the bomber doing? Uh, soon enough we're gonna need some... Some rest. Soon enough. I guess what we also could do uh, is take uh, one of our submarine leaders and actually does Ethiopia have... No, they don't. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> I was about to say we could raid their coasts and uh, try and sink their convoys, which actually gives a good deal of experience to your naval commanders, but then again they don't have any harbor, so really unnecessary to waste any fuel. <laughs> right. Uh, I wish we had more. More. More I see that is. Yep, not much we can do there actually. Let's go back to speed number three and uh, <laughs> actually go back to looking at the uh, victory point. There we go, victory point. So we do need to get to uh, Biogard. Sarajevo, alright. So what I'm probably gonna do is try a frontal assault on this line of defense here obviously. Um, but what I'm also gonna do is uh, come from from below here. They don't seem to have, like, they got a, two ships or so, so that's gonna be an easy meal for our where is it? Um, here, for our Reg Regina Mar Regia Marina. I probably butcher that as hard as I can, but you know what I mean. Uh, these battleships and heavy cruisers and destroyers they're gonna eat that Yugoslavian army for breakfast, so we're just gonna camp their harbor and try a naval ex invasion from below here and take this harbor and do a dual-pronged attack, like march on the capital from below here. And we already got a couple of invasion troops, I'm just not sure if that's gonna be enough. 
probably the next round of the reinforcements it's gonna go here after that though we're gonna see if that actually will be enough to invade Yugoslavia uh, what are you guys doing? How many troops on the right? We did win the wars here and there, so... I guess we can bring the cap... Uh, the capital. Ah! Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to say. I guess we can bring the, um, the HQ a little bit forward. And I again disable... I don't know why it disables the um, supply or the the thing by default I don't get that let's move the HQ a little closer so they actually can benefit from it maybe we can oh this guy does have a little bit of skill so we are gonna get a couple of hmm Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we're actually gonna get a little bit of experience. Oh, what? Ah, there we go. Right, so the consumer goods are back to normal. Finally. Oh, that is good. That is really good. And we can lock that in. Did we get any new techs? No, but we're soon gonna get new tech, and that will mean a lot of need for upgrades. But yeah, there's really not much I can do for that. Now, we're just gonna bring the upgrades down to zero. And have our industry focus on actually building these new brigades. I uh, just actually need a day to have that update. There we go. Alright, so now we're actually working on all the brigades, which is uh, pretty good. But still, a ways in the future get them ready to field um, it's all gonna be in 1936 still oh, that is good that will give us oh whoa, whoa, whoa. all right I shouldn't waste too much time there um, Ethiopia has lost all right our forces are under attack um, where are you attacking Ethiopia has lost the battle all right lost the battle lost the battle right okay so where are they actually attacking I don't get it. I don't... Uh, where are you attacking? Guy? Here? Uh, I don't... What am I missing? It's so weird. Oh shit, I really need to... Give our... Um, air support a little break. Yeah, they need to... Need to have a little break. I don't see where they're attacking though. I don't see it. Alright, um, you here rebase there. Just get your organization back up. Was that actually. Huh. Oh, that goes really slow. Real, real slow. Right, where are you attacking? Hmm. <laughs> I don't... They're actually attacking my troops in Naka... Um, yeah, they're actually attacking my troops here. I don't see what that will do for them. How are we looking in terms of supply? Good, good, good. It's all looking good. So I guess we'll just uh, get one infantry group down there. Get one up here and another one up here. Well, actually get another one there. No, let's get another one here. That. Come 
could actually just leave one division in here. Because we're going to need some uh, manpower to actually take back the region of Harar. Which apparently they took now. Oh, they will take as soon as we finish that movement period. Man, that's a long, long walk, I guess. How much do they have here? They got one militia, one infantry. We have lost and we must reacquire it. I know we must. Uh, no, 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 no. You're going nowhere, man. There we go. Attack commencing. And let's actually send the infantry there as well. To support the attack. You are going nowhere. Right, so now we got the battle going. Um... Let's actually watch that. And there should our... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are they actually doing? I don't get it. What you guys do need, though, is a little bit of air support. If these suckers would actually get their organization back. But you can see the uh, the organization ticker. If I hover over here, uh, it's the the third text from the top. Now you have uh, Caproni CA.111. Then you got the strength, which is 100%. And then you got the organization, which is uh, at 9,400 ticking up. And uh, its maximum is at 37. 37,000, so that's gonna be a while until they're back to full strength, I guess. Anyway. We've won the Battle of Goba, alright. That's good, I didn't even know. Where's Goba? Is that? Oh yeah, okay. So this is Goba, Harar, Oh, whatever. I don't really... Probably can't keep the names in my head, but that's gonna be fine. Uh, what do you guys have here, man? It's not much. Just give it up and let me have it. Even though I don't really want to win the war anytime soon. It's, it's fine if it drags out like that. First of all, we're gonna get experience on the leaders that actually participate in the war. And uh, second we are gonna, and that's the more important part, get a really low consumer goods demand because we are at war and we had the war industry uh, loss. So that actually works out just great for Italy and that's how they can even become viable because we can have such a strong, relatively to our uh, overall production, that is, um, production. So they can really build their military up and... Um, Get ready for that important war in uh, Yugoslavia. We have won the Battle of Harar and uh, apparently gonna take back what is ours there. Not even sure how I want to reinforce there. Uh, maybe the militia here, like so. Ah, there we go. Infantry support advances. And our upgrade cause to shoot through the roof now. Let's look at that. Um, there should a couple of infantry techs should go through. Could actually get rid of the... What's it? Infantry support. Three and... Yeah, let's get rid of that for now. Get rid of the mechanical computing machines. Apparently, they're not efficient. Let's find another rocket test. We don't really need the rocket tests. Hmm. Radio detection equipment. I want to have that radar, though. Why do we need radar detection equipment? I don't. 
that. Yeah, I don't see that as the most necessary. Um, we do need resources. But we also need naval doctrines. Still ways away from getting a good one though, so let's uh, see what we actually need here. I guess we're gonna start with the port strike tactics, naval strike. Yeah, let's start with the nav pilot training. Um, yeah, we're not actually gonna do the Carrier air support, though, that's pretty important as well. Ground attack, not really that important. Yep, I guess the nav pilot training is actually the next that I want to get. No, small arms too should finish uh, anytime soon. And then we can get a couple more. More of these uh, important air strike and uh, naval strike doctrines. But let's not lose focus on our little African war here. Alright, so now um, let's move the militia here to the front line just so they are completely encircled. We actually have one militia here. Bring the HQ here. And the guys, in two, three, all right, so they're all moving, because they're really uh, not useful in Jima. There's no way for the Ethiopians to get there through our forces here, so they're pretty useless where they are. Um, come on, grow that freaking organization back. We want it, we need it, the precious. Yeah, it really goes slow, but what can you do? Mm-hmm. There we go. More small arms weapons. Very good. How's our... Yeah, look at that. 41 already. Ah, so much. And we're still nowhere close to actually getting additional industrial capacity. So, anyway, small arms three. Uh, we're gonna put that on hold for now. Yeah, we are. What are you whining about? Which one is insufficient? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing insufficient about our research. But we can put another one in the line. Uh, Schwerpunkt. Mobile warfare. Don't really need that just now. I guess the mass assault sounds good. Just all these general bonuses sound really good to me. Infantry morale plus 10%, HQ defensiveness plus 2, assault 6%, reckless assault 2%, that sounds really good. I probably want to get most of the... Well, actually, want to get the superior firepower. Mech motorized, don't really need that too much. Delay doctrine, really no. Uh, probably gonna go for the most of these infantry warfare doctrines here. And uh, maybe for the central planning as well. Could actually just get that in there. It should go rather quickly. 
because it's so uh, so backward, like 1918. That's actually good. Um, where was I? Bringing the war back to the Ethiopians. There's where I was. <laughs> uh, where I was, I mean. Man, oh man. Just encircle them. And then I have to actually keep them down. That's the, the hard part. But once we got them completely encircled, I could actually just kill their troops. Because if troops don't have a way to retreat, as uh, most of you probably know, you will actually destroy them once you win the fight. So that's what I'm actually aiming for. Get a complete encirclement on the capital of Ethiopia and then just destroy their troops. If you would let me do that. Uh, we would give them zero point something and no. Mise don't think so. Um, we could try and sell some more fuel to someone. Poland. Hungary, sure. How about you? Oh god, they are too poor. Mm, Ethiopia, well, we don't... <laughs> Won't be able to sell uh, any fuel to Ethiopia. Who actually makes the most money? Persia makes a lot. Maybe we could sell them. Nah, that would be too too genius. Like if we buy their ref uh, their crude oil and actually sell them their their own fuel back, that would just be perfecto. But we cannot do that. It would be kind of cheaty anyway do that so could also just automate trade from here on out but I <laughs> kind of like doing that I don't know I'm not even sure if I'm efficient like if what I'm doing is actually good oh Japan needs fuel and Japan got some money actually here uh, off a trade damn why won't you buy Yeah, I'm not even uh, sure if that's 100% efficient what I'm doing here, but it is, uh, for one, it's fun. And uh, secondly, I do think the AI does not, like, they don't plan ahead. They just try and compensate, uh, trade around so you got most of anything. But they don't do what I do right now. I'm actually trying and get more crude oil so they can build a fuel stockpile for the upcoming wars and whatnot. They do not. Oops, what's happening now? We finished some more. God damn it, I really need to uh, stop. Chippy has lost the battle. Infantry, anti tank, light cruiser. Oh, right. Oh, 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 okay. There's a lot of tech. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to take care of that. And we finally encircled the Ethiopians. Which uh, means probably in the next episode we can actually uh, attack them from all sides and take the capital, that is Ababa. And let's first um, get rid of these techs that are not efficient, um, which was infantry and a tank, inf light artillery out, um, infantry anti-tank, there you are, go away, light cruiser anti-aircraft, light cruiser armor is also not efficient, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, nice. Go away, go away. So we just need the light cruiser engines. And uh, we don't need any submarines. How are we doing on the capital? Escort carrier. Eh. Battle ships, we're not gonna do anything there. Battle cruiser, nothing there. Um, nothing here. So we're doing good there. Um, bomber. There's no tech we actually need. Yeah, how about the 
fighters, aero engines. There's no tech we need there. Hmm, it's looking pretty good. So we can actually go for some more. Sixty. 70 and 130. So if we get a percentage-based production bonus in steel, rare materials and coal, that would actually help us a great deal. Am I missing anything here? No, I don't think so. Could also go for the assault concentration there or the special forces. Yeah, let's actually not rush it too much. Fleet Auxiliary... Oh, damn. Alright. Um, let's go for... Rare Materials. There we go. Freeze that up here. And uh, I think we're actually mostly good on our diplomacy and espionage. So we might... Well, let's just freeze that and uh, bring espionage down just a little. Oh, man. So hard. Yeah, like so. It's fine. And uh, get more officers. We, we got an oversaturation for now, but believe me, we will need that in the future. Definitely gonna need that. Alright, uh, that shall do it for the episode. Next episode, maybe I'm gonna destroy the Ethiopian army here in Addis Ababa. I'm not sure, but maybe we will. And uh, hopefully go ahead and get some more of our brigades completed. And get some more of our tech. And get ready for war with the Yugoslavia. If you got any suggestions, because by the time you see this video, I'm probably already on the plane back to Germany. Uh, so I can actually read and react to your reactions that you left on my Hearts of Iron videos. So if you got any tips or if you got any like suggestions where to go and about the game pace, uh, especially that. Because I have no feel if I'm fast, slow, extremely freaking annoyingly slow or, you know, just got no feeling for that so uh, let me know and uh, the comments on this video are probably the ones that uh, will influence me the, the most because that's maybe what I'll read just when I get back and so I can actually factor that in for the next or the video after that I'm not sure if I'm gonna record one more after this but uh, definitely this one or the next one will be the one that is the last before I actually come back to Germany so um, yeah Make use of the comment box, please, and uh, let me know what you think about the series. If you just enjoy it and you think, uh, you know, it's a good way to get back into it and uh, prepare for Hearts of Iron 4, then uh, I'll take that as well. I'll take a edit boy and a pat on the back. I'll definitely, definitely take that. <laughs> um, well, outside of that, there's nothing left to say to you except have a wonderful day and see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.